as I said earlier, some suggesting that we need to see a shift happen in terms of parameters being used to assess market performance at the moment. What are some of the factors you're looking at at the moment influencing your view on where this market is at? Uh, thank you very much, uh, Alicia. That's a good observation you have there. The uncertainty in the market is pretty evident, looking at how we've been shedding off points in the recent past. And uh, just as you noted there, some of the counters that uh, we are beginning to look at right now are some of the utility stocks, which have uh, remained supported and uh, tend to, pr to project fairly good earnings, especially now that we are anticipating their results. And also, we are still looking at some of the financial stocks that are being steady or holding steady, especially knowing that we are getting into a window in which we are preparing for next year's uh, results. Well, it's uh, so far been largely optimism around, uh, you know, the new constitution and around economic growth uh, in particular. That's, uh, that's a fueling sentiment, even uh, if it hasn't translated into direct market performance. We heard this week that Kenya's economy is forecast to grow 5.2% uh, this year. First of all, how would you rate the impact of the stimulus and the fiscal stimulus we saw being implemented last year and the role it's played in achieving this target? Well, uh, from a macroeconomic perspective, yes, looking at how the economy has been performing, we've been seeing a lot of uh, uh, trickling down of some of this money, especially the infrastructural development, which has uh, stimulated a lot of uh, either employment as well as uh, looking at inflationary pressures, which have uh, subsidized over the recent period and uh, created a lot of uh, interest in the equities market. And that's why we saw a significant uh, rise in terms of market performance. But looking at it from the political front, it seems uh, we're experiencing some sort of correction because uh, most investors had a lot of hope in, and sentiments that uh, the new regime or the new dispensation will be able to create a lot of interest in the market. But looking at it, especially in terms of foreign support, which has uh, been declining over the recent past, some of the corporate act actions that are not uh, meeting investors' uh, anticipation is creating a bit of a pr either profit-taking as well as a correction in terms of the market performance. Mm -hmm. One would assume that uh, you know it would see an increase in public and private investments, but it's still within a context where we've got high uh, lending rates and uh, you know to consider. So, what's your outlook on? on the private investment front specifically. Well, looking at uh, the private investment front, well, our market has been promising in terms of the investment opportunities that we avail in terms of uh, the political climate that we have. But looking at it, especially in terms of the political, sorry, economic uh, uh, climate for investments, for especially for private investors, it's still challenging in terms of the fact that lending has uh, has still remained a bit high. Default rate has been another concern for most of these uh, lenders as well as uh, most of the people who mm -hmm. are, are operating in our environment. But looking at it going forward, especially with the, the new political dispensation session we are hoping that you're going to see a lot of structural developments that are going to create mm. an opportunity for private developers to still be able to position themselves. For now we've got a lot of companies on this aggressive capital uh, raising initiatives and uh, new, new uh, nation media group has been uh, one of them. Uh, it's now uh, gotten approval uh, by Rwanda's capital markets regulator to cross list on the Rwandan board. So what have you made of that news that's come to the fore? Well, looking at it, especially in terms of regional economic integration, this is a very welcome move, especially on some of the listed equity mark, uh, counters in our market right now, because it creates a lot of uh, opportunity for investors to be able to buy into some of these stocks. And looking specifically at uh, nation media, especially even going forward, we're looking at some of the uh, one of the most promising stocks in terms of how they are positioning themselves in the region, as well as some of the opportunities that they, they seem to be taking up. And uh, uh, listing in uh, Rwanda, of course, opens them to a lot of uh, interest in terms of investor participation, in terms mm -hmm. of the share price and also looking at it in terms of uh, how we are looking at uh, where they're positioned <coughs> at looking at now and 2012 basically looking at the share is very very promising well they're offering 157 million ordinary shares at a price of two shillings of 50 uh, do you see that as a fair value well, looking at it in terms of uh, an arbitrage opportunity, well, it might be more of a fair value, especially looking at the Rwanda Stock Exchange, which might not be as vibrant as the, as the Kenyan market. But looking at it in terms of investors who might want to, t to chip in on the stock, definitely is creating a lot of uh, demand and interest in terms of investments. But uh, looking at it from the fact that it might be an over, it's an over the counter market, the liquidity of the stock might be one mm -hmm. of the things that might affect uh, in terms of buying and selling. But definitely it's a fair value and a good buy.